everybody, this is Alpha Shell 5390, and today I'm recording Talladega Nights Part 3. Please enjoy. Like, for instance, if, you, if I say peanut butter and ladies. Yeah. All right? No, jelly. All right. Jelly. I'm going to put jelly on lady. Tell you what, I'm going to settle this thing. Let's just get ourselves a whole mess of cocktails. <laughs> get drunk and work this thing out. Work this thing out. That's all good. So, I was talking to Nana on Saturday. And her birthday's coming up, but I don't know where to get her. She's going to be 88. Get her a coffee. <laughs> hey, Cal. Uh, I'm sorry about wrecking you today. I mean, but that's for the team. No, that's cool. That's cool. You know, I was thinking, though, one time uh, it would be really awesome if, like, you could slingshot me in for a win. Yeah, but... Okay, but if you won, how, how am I going to win? Yeah. Think about it. No, I was thinking about it. I mean, it's not like you're finishing 18. Nothing wrong with silver. Nothing wrong with silver. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, man. I don't want to win. <laughs> Stop. 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 Oh, I'm just buried down inside. Buried deep down in there and never bring it up again. It's painful, and I love you. Little gigolo. What? A guy to have sex with him. Oh, she's gonna be 88, and you don't stop liking sex when you're old. Well, I was thinking more along the line of, uh, like, she likes afghans and quilts and kind of stuff. I probably got, like, a million dollars in her closet. How many dudes does she got coming over to have sex with them? None. Exactly. Be awful, Glenn. something dying or something. Hey, turn that crap off! What's going on? Well, this music out of my head. Hey, turn that off! <laughs> turn that off right now! Why did you do stuff to the jazz music? Was he not pleasant for you? No one plays jazz here at Pit Stop, okay? So why is the song on the juke pit? We keep it on there for profiling purposes. We also got the Pet Shop Boys and Seal. My name is John Girard. And I am a racing car driver just like you. <coughs> except I am from Formula E. I am the greatest one in the whole world. I have been following your career with great interest, Monsieur Bebe. I can't understand a word you said the whole time. Do you eat some peanut butter or something? Yeah, you sound like a dog with peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. I think what you are hearing is my actual. I am a French. You say French? We. We? No, we are not French. We're American. Because you're in America. Okay? Greatest country on the planet. Well, what have you given the world apart from uh, George Bush, uh, Cheerios, and the Thai Master? Chinese food? Chinese food. That's from China. Pizza? Italy. Chimichanga? Mexican. Really smart, man. What did French land give us? We invented the democracy, existentialism, and the blowjob. <laughs> Those are three pretty good things. <laughs> hey, that last one's pretty cool. And what's on that? You know, the 69 is the head near the dead beach. We came up with this. We created the missionary position. You're welcome. Let me do I have come here to defeat you. Oh, well, there's stripes two and three right there. <laughs> Did you hear what you said? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to America, amigo. Formula One jazz nut job. Like the frightened baby chipman, you are scared by anything that is different. I will let you go, Ricky. But first, I want you to say something. I love guys. Don't you say it, Ricky. These colors don't run. Hey, look, Dick. Hey, I thought about it. Why don't you go ahead and break my I do not want to break your arm, Monsieur Bobby, but I am a man of my world. Here's the deal. He 
I'm not going to break it, because I'm going to slip out of it right now. Whoa, I'm going to kill it out of you, you two cunt people. Someone might as well give me a beer while I'm down here. But you have forced me to do this. You are now mocking me and making me look ridiculous. Just say, I never said, you know, just put this in there for... I had a whole mess of pancakes this morning, but if I can't change, maybe even better. Well, they're really good pancakes. Yeah. Just out. How's the really Eastern pancakes? It's just a French Welsh for them. Yeah. Oh, my God. What did I serve you one on? Yeah. Yeah. Take the dog with you. Yeah, it's a toxic product. So why do you want to do it? It's not going to Do you know what's in the clips and pitch? Oh, I love the clips and pitch. Grease of sugar. Yeah. 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 The name of the clips and pitch. saying with all due respect that idea ain't worth a velvet painting of a whale and dolphin getting it off <laughs> that's, that's good that's good fun that's good fun ricky that doesn't bother me anymore because jean is the future ricky the past so jean introduced me to your little teammates hey everybody uh, this is my husband uh, gregory <laughs> mr track did he just say husband sweet lord then it hired a gay Frenchman as your teammate. Room's starting to spin real fast. Because of, because of gayness. Cal, I love you. Ricky, oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! But you know, fans and NASCAR, everyone is talking about this new driver, John Girard. Let's find out a little bit more about him from our reporter, Davey Wessling. Talented, eccentric, dominating. These are the words that define Jean Girard. Before each race, Jean Girard spends time with his world-class horses, who are also gay. Jean's days are filled with sun-drenched walks with his beloved husband, Gregory. Though Gregory is no stay-at-home spouse, He's a world-class trainer of German shepherds. Only time will tell if Jean's foray into NASCAR will end up in victory lane. Check out his coochie bowl there. Won the Nobel Prize for Physics back in 93. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a new track record. As it stands now, John Gerard is sitting on the pole, which is, of course, a statement of fact and in no way a comment on the driver's sexual orientation. Put a smile on your face, Ricky. That's the future of dinner racing right there. That make you happy? Oh, yeah, I'm just thrilled, Mr. Dennett. I love seeing some French guy break my track record while I got my arm wrapped up like a friggin' gordita. 
Hello, uh, thank you, Bobby. What happened last week was uh, very regrettable and unfortunate. And as a gesture, I would like to um, sign your cast, please. Oh, hell, you don't get my car off the trailer, guys. Baby, that's my baby. Hold on, Ricky, 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 Ricky. What are you talking about? Look, I want to drive, okay? My arm's fine. So let's get the car off the trailer. Don't, don't look at me. Get it off the trailer. Come on, Tom. Ricky, even with a healthy arm, you don't have a chance against Joan Gerard. All right, fellas, you heard the man. Get the car off. Let's go. Go get it off. Yes, sir. Well, soon you will know what it is like to be defeated by the hands of somebody who is truly better than you. As William Blake wrote, the cat worm forgives the fly. Well, let me just quote the late, great Colonel Sanders. He said, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. He said, go to do it, sis. I got a message for all of them, hey? Right? Shake and bake. What is that? Did that blow your mind? That just happened. What is that, a catchphrase or is that uh, epilepsy? Shake and bake. Yeah. What? Shake and bake. Listen, you better be careful because tomorrow you're going to get beaten. Beaten real bad, cowboy. Really? Yes. And I want to know. That's it. That's, That's you to me. Tomorrow you're going to be a heavy. I'm going to rip you in the... I give you one option, Mr. Bobby. As a sign of humility, if you kiss me on the lips now, I will return to Paris and you will never see me again in that cup. So the answer is never. I Do you hear me? Never ever! Well, yes or no? That's sick. <laughs> Let me tell you. Hold on. Shut your Oh. Makes no sense, so it's shake and bake. It's nonsense. Hey, baby. This is That's so awesome. smooth. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, everybody. This is it for this episode. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and see you in next episode. So long.